everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be doing an overall review video of Alexandra's Happy Body Plan. This is the 90 day shred. She's done different plans and she's got one coming out very soon but this one is the 90 day shred which was the first one that she came out with like the main one and at the minute the most expensive plan that she has and that is the one that I have done. I've done many videos on my channel about her plan and my experience with it along the way and my journey and what I eat in a day video. So go back, look at them. They're one of the most popular videos on my channel. Made my AdSense go up by a mile so I was very happy about that. But this is going to be a long video. <coughs> Do grab a hot beverage. My voice is going already and I only just started this video. But yeah, I'm filming late at night so that's why the lighting isn't 100% amazing and it's not very good. So this video is very structured, it is very kind of specific and laid out and I do have like a specific plan for it. So look in the description box and I will put a time stamp for each topic that I'm going to discuss in case you just want to hear a certain specific thing, not necessarily the whole video. I have filmed this already but I just wasn't happy with it. It was too rambly, it was too long and I didn't like it. But I have written out an entire plan on my laptop. I always write out video plans. This is an entire video plan and it just helps me to have structure to my videos and just makes them a hell of a lot better. So please subscribe if you would like to. I'm still on my fitness journey despite the fact that I finished the 90 day shred. So if you are interested in fitness videos then please subscribe. But yeah, let's get into the video. Right, I'm just about to edit this video and I just wanted to quickly jump in. I thought that I should probably say that I haven't or I didn't 100% stick to the 90 day plan from the beginning to the end. I did stick to it mostly towards the start of the plan and I did see like weight loss quite quickly and that's why I know the plan works but obviously sometimes when it you know when it's something that you are literally changing in your life and you're changing your diet completely you know things aren't always you know easy to stick to forever if you know what I mean like it's not it's a plan that I'm sure some people will manage to stick to from day one to day 90, but most people won't. And for me, I mainly was able to stick to it, but I didn't stick to the structure of week one, workout one, week two, workout two. As soon as I knew how to lose weight, I was sorted and I sort of mixed and matched with the workouts and did which ones I wanted to do. And then when I kind of got bored of doing those after a few months, I then do ones on YouTube. So I just thought that I've mentioned that I didn't do it I wasn't perfect from day one to day 90 at all. It just kind of taught me how to lose weight and then I started doing my own sort of thing. So I thought I'd just throw that in there before I edit this video. It's like half past one in the morning. So contents page for this video, in terms of timestamps for the video, the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is like what the plan is, what it's about, just the rough basics of it and everything about it. I'm then gonna talk about what weight I have lost and kind of what I've learned from the plan in a way. So like what weight I've lost doing the plan and things that I've taken from it. Positives of the plan will then be next. And then I will list a few negatives. I did actually do an entire video discussing the negatives of the plan. So I will link that in the description if you wanna go and watch that. It's a very long video, but I do personally think that I do actually highlight some really good negatives about the plan. And then my overall thoughts on the plan will be kind of like at the end of the video and then just as an added bonus, right at the end of the video, I'm gonna kind of discuss what you can do if you don't want to buy her plan or you don't want a fitness plan if you're just at home on your own and you just wanna lose weight by yourself. So that's the structure of this video. So we've just began this video and my camera is already flashing so that is just amazing. But the first thing we're gonna talk about is what the plan is actually about. So. The 90 day shred, what it recommends is that you eat 1,400 calories. It recommends 300 calories for breakfast, 400 calories for lunch, 500 calories for like your evening meal, and then 200 calories for snacks sort of in the day. Personally, you don't have to stick to that structure. It is a quite a nice structure to stick to, like don't get me wrong, but you don't have to stick to that, and I certainly haven't, as long as I sort of stick within my calories. The plan kind of recommends like high protein, high fiber meals. There's not too much sugar in the meals that they have. And I know that Alexandra kind of speaks about the fact that she doesn't really, you know, agree with too much sugar in your diet and that it does have a massive impact on you. And that is 
correct. Also the plan has specific set out meal um, ideas. So breakfast is all set out for you. The calories are automatically 300. For lunch, they're automatically 400 from the recipe. So it makes it so much easier if you just follow exactly what it is. So yeah, that's what is also sort of part of the plan is that they do sort of measure out and make sure the calories are what the plan states that you should have as a rough guide. HIIT training, this whole plan is focused around HIIT training. I've known this for years that HIIT training is amazing. HIIT stands for high intensity interval training and basically it's about like literally high intensity exercises in a short period of time you'll do like one exercise really intense for a short period of time and then a different one and it's just a very short workout but it's very effective i have been doing them for years on youtube because there is many on youtube guys it's not just these fitness people and these plans that have these videos youtube has some amazing ones as well so go and check YouTube out because you're on YouTube right now. So you should be able to check it out. HIIT training is amazing and I would highly recommend it, especially if you don't want to go to the gym. You don't need to go to the gym if you just want to lose a little bit of weight. If you want to gain loads of muscle and you want to use weight training, then maybe the gym is for you. But if you just want to, you know, do some nice kind of cardio exercises whilst also toning up, HIIT workouts are the best. There is 12 workouts on the 90 day shred and workout one is meant to be repeated every single day for one week, workout two repeated every single day for week two, etc, etc. And that is quite repetitive, but that is the layout of it. And it just means that at the beginning of the week, you will maybe struggle a little bit more with the exercises, but then you'll get used to them and be better at them as the week kind of goes along. So that is the basis of the plan. That is basically what it is in a nutshell and it lasts for 90 days. Now we're gonna talk about like what weight I've lost and what I've learned from the plan. So I have lost basically a solid one and a half stone and nearly kind of going on to the sort of two stone mark because I'm kind of like that kind of person where at the minute I'm just kind of up and down, up and down, up and down. I was at the point where I just sort of maintained for quite a long time. And I think that's a good thing to do. If you've lost, you know, a considerable amount of weight, maintain for a little bit and then you can then lose a little bit more. You don't have to do it all in one go. Again, this is a lifestyle change. I'm not gonna discuss what weight I am because it's not important. Everybody is different and you shouldn't go against what somebody else weighs because everyone's heights are different and their ages are different, etc loads of things impact it, water weight, things like that, muscle, everything like that. Like there's different kind of weights in your body. It's not necessarily fat that is giving you that higher weight. So yeah, that's how much I've sort of exactly 100% lost one and a half stone. I do still wanna lose a little bit more and I still am gonna continue just only just a little bit. Like I, I am happy with how I am right now. I'm a lot better and a lot fitter and healthier than I used to be. And yeah, I am really happy. That's what I've lost. And I would say I lost the majority of the weight at the start of the plan when I was sticking to 1,400 calories. I then kind of increased my calories a little bit to 1,600 and we're still losing a little bit of weight here and there. And that's just like a nice, healthy, sustainable way to lose weight. You don't have to be really low with your calories. And I think that's something to stress. But yeah, I did kind of sort of maintained for a little bit after that and I have been maintaining and now I have got back into my diet and I'm now eating 1,400 calories again and doing my exercises because I'm now ready to lose a few more pounds. So I've had my maintenance time, now I'm ready to use, lose a few more pounds and my mind is in the game. What I would say is if you are having a break from your diet, don't just eat whatever you want. Make sure that you still sort of have an awareness and that you still are sort of maintaining. You're not gaining any weight because you will just, you know, lose track of progress. Somebody in the plan said that they went on holiday and gained 10 pounds on holiday, but they're okay with that. I personally don't think that's a healthy way of looking at it. Like, if it is a lifestyle change, you've just put so much effort into losing that 10 pounds for you to then put that back on again in just a holiday. Like you will then have to put in the work again and it's just an endless cycle of lose it, gain it, lose it, gain it. And it's not something that's sustainable. It's not something that's good for your body or your mental health or anything like that. So I wouldn't recommend that. Some days will be higher calorie than others. If you've got a day of eating high calorie, maybe next day eat a little bit less, etc. Just kind of be a little bit more like thinking about things a bit more. I don't really have cheat days anymore. That's what I've learned from this plan is that it can make you feel like you want a treat day or a cheat day or whatever. Whereas now I just try and stick to it as much as I possibly can. And my kind of treat meals will be when my friends wanna go out for a meal or my family have got a barbecue or something like that. Obviously the weather's not too great right now, but that's kind of when I will have a treat meal. If you've got it kind of set out each week, it's almost like, 
you're just sort of thinking about that all week i don't know i just found that it can be kind of detrimental to your weight loss especially if you overeat on that day if you you know over you go over your maintenance calories then you will just undo progress that you've done during the week so just don't do that so yeah i personally don't really agree with them but what the plan mainly taught me is that losing weight is all about nutrition it's about the food side of things rather than exercise you can go to the gym every day and go on the treadmill for an hour a day but if you're over consuming on calories and you're eating too many calories than you should be and you're not in a calorie deficit then you won't lose weight and you'll be stuck there thinking why so you need to focus on food think about what you're eating how much of it you're eating and are you in a calorie deficit which we will talk about later on at the end of the video on how to calculate that i also so it reiterated to me the plan did that hit training is the way to go high intensity interval training has been like a massive thing whenever i've ever sort of been like doing workouts in the past i've always gone to them they are the best i am going to link down below some good ones but i will speak about those later on in the video so that is what i've learned from the plan and what weight i've lost sorry if i look any different i just had to go and start cooking my evening meal my tea for today because my camera battery died great i don't know why i never charge it up before i want to film a video because as soon as i start filming it starts flashing immediately and it will start flashing again in a minute not good um but yeah it is by the way currently 10 past 10 in the evening and i'm having my tea because my sleeping pattern's all messed up because i end up sleeping at about half four five in the morning and then waking up at like 12 because amy's working nights at the minute so that means that my sleeping pattern's messed up as well because I cannot sleep and then know that somebody's going to be entering the house during my sleep so I stay awake but it's okay because I just rescheduled my day and I still managed to fit everything in but the next category that we're looking at is the positives of the plan so first things first is that there is a variety of meal ideas and meal options on the plan and there is something really if you're not a fussy eater and you've not got any dietary requirements, then there is 100% something for everybody if you're not a fussy eater, like me. I really like the recipes on the plan. They were quite simple, but straightforward and easy to, easy to do. And the ingredients were easy to source. It wasn't like crazy amounts of spices or you need this, 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 this. And it's just like, okay, I'm never gonna be able to get those ingredients and I don't have the money for that. So they are quite nice and simple, which I like. They do also update the meal ideas every so often. So every once in a while they will update the meal ideas and they will just make some more and add some to the plan. They don't update them sort of very often but they do occasionally which is quite good that it's not just what is from the beginning sometimes they do add other ones on there which is great because they've got breakfast ideas lunch ideas and like evening meal ideas they do have a good structure of setting out the calories so that's another positive in terms of like the calorie allowance for each meal the 300 400 500 kind of like structure with the 200 snacks i kind of think that is a good structure to follow if you really don't have a clue and you really are like really bad at kind of eating food and knowing how much to eat when and like where but it really doesn't matter if you don't stick to that but it is a good structure that they have put together if you just roughly want to follow that i really really like the hit workouts on the plan that is another positive the hit workouts are really really good and effective compared to youtube i would say they're on par or better they're definitely not worse than like what you'd find on youtube they are really really good they are challenging they will tone you they've got the cardio element as well as the toning element so you'll burn calories and tone up which is exactly what they're there for they've got a good structure to them it's one minute of an exercise an intense exercise and then another minute of different one another minute of a different one and then another minute 30 second break and then repeat that and that's the structure of the kind of workouts that they have on the plan and then each week is different exercises so i personally think that the hit workouts are actually really really good and i do personally really like them also it varies in different moves and different intensities it's not just samey kind of different every week is very different basically another positive is that it, you get it for longer than what the plan is so you this is for the 90 day shred by the way you get the plan for 90 days plus an extra 30 days so you get it for 120 days which means that if you have an injury you feel ill or anything like that or you restart a week then you've got that extra 30 days and i think that's really good that they have that extra time on there and then finally the final positive is 
just an overall, it works. The plan works. If you stick to it 100% and you don't have any like proper diagnosed medical conditions, some people will be mistracking calories and things like that without realizing and think that they've got something wrong with them. But yeah, the plan does work if you 100% are tracking your calories properly and accurately and measuring everything. As time goes on, you will get used to sort of how many calories are in things and you will be able to see it by eye, but straight away looking at it, you won't be able to guess if you've never sort of known before. So yeah, make sure you weigh everything out, but it does work along with the HIIT workouts, they are very good. If you are just doing the workouts every single day and expecting to get results, you won't if you are over consuming on calories. So make sure that you are looking and making sure that you're in a calorie deficit as well. But yeah, that's the positives. So now for the negatives, I am not gonna go too much into this because like I said, I did film a video talking about the negatives and I will again, like I said, link it in the description, but I'm just gonna list sort of the main ones. The first one, which is the biggest, 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 negative about this plan and I don't mean to be rude this is nothing against Alexandra and it's nothing you know nothing against her at all I really like her her videos everything like that and the plan in general it's the support team whoever the hell they are they are so 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 bad and some of them are extremely rude which I have seen from what other people have shown in screenshots which I think is very bad that's not professional and it's why like why and also sometimes they're inaccurate and incorrect like uh, these people should understand and know this plan thoroughly if a question is being asked then they should know the answer to it somebody had asked do you get the 90 day shred any longer than 90 days they said no you only get it for 90 days and lose access that's incorrect you get it for 120 days and that was inaccurate information and they were being very blunt with their responses and quite rude with what they were saying i just don't find them very professional and also sometimes they post inaccurate things on their instagram page quite a lot of the time or they're copying what somebody else has posted on their fitness page and just putting it on you know the happy body plan so i think whoever is running things needs to be changed because it's not working very well people get over get charged two three four even five times for things I was charged twice for something. It was sorted fairly quickly because when I first joined the plan, there wasn't that many people doing it, but now there is a lot of people doing it, hence why they're kind of snowed under. But it does seem a very common occurrence that people are charged multiple times. I know somebody that was charged three times for the 90 day shred, that's 150 pounds. And it took three weeks for her to get her 100 pounds back. Actually, no, it took three weeks for her to get a reply from her email that she sent to the support team. You have to email after email after email, otherwise they probably won't reply to you. They are so awful. And the reason why I'm taking up a lot of this video is discussing that is because that is what drags the plan down heavily. That is what makes this plan actually something that I don't recommend to people because I say, you know, it's a good plan, it does work, but the support team are so bad that you're probably gonna get charged multiple times. You probably won't get your money back straight away. They can be quite rude, which is not professional and information given out can be inaccurate and just in general getting replies from them takes absolutely ages and i just don't understand it either they need more people doing it or they need to change the people that are doing it because they aren't professional and they are should not be doing that so i don't know who they are and i'm just going to say that you know maybe some people will come at me for saying that and being that but i'm an honest person i'm being honest in this video and i'm taking up a lot of this video because i honestly it makes me so mad at the fact that people get their money taken over and over again and they're not replying to their emails it's like how does that even happen like how does somebody's money get taken three times over like what is going on i don't understand so that's the main reason why i would say not to do the plan if you don't want your money to be taken several times, but we won't go on with that. The next one is some recipes have spelling errors in them and also grammar errors. The recipes are very basic. It looks like a child has written them. Not all of them, some of them. They are overall very nice and good, but some of them do look like a child has written them. It's just paragraphs, it's not recipes. Maybe it will change because I've now finished the 90 day shred, so I can't see the content anymore. But when I was doing it, there was no like ingredients list and then method. It was just a massive paragraph and it just, you know, it was full of spelling mistakes, full of grammar mistakes. And I think that's very poor for something that is meant to be, you know, a paid for sophisticated plan. By the way, 
I do stress this is not a dig at Alexandra, this is a dig at the support team and the plan and the people that make it. Another negative is that the calories are a one size fits all approach, it just states 1,400. Oh, hello there. Um, yeah, it just states 1,400. It doesn't account for people's weight, height, ages, fitness levels, anything like that. So that's why at the end of this video, I am gonna discuss what you can do if you wanna calculate your TDEE and your kind of maintenance calories and what calories you need to eat to lose weight. The HIIT workouts can also get quite repetitive. That's another negative is that they can be quite repetitive. Doing it every single day for a week by the end of sort of day four, you're like, okay, I've done this now. For the money that you're paying, you should get more workouts than what you get really. 12 workouts for 50 pounds is extremely expensive considering there's thousands on YouTube. So I'm just gonna throw that out there and they're nothing special, like they're not amazing. YouTube have got some fantastic ones and I will link them down below. Yeah, it's funny because that's basically the main negatives to the plan. But the one that I wrote in block capitals is the support team is terrible. Because honestly, like, oh, I even screenshotted what some people have said about it. And I was gonna read it out in the video, but I don't wanna be that bad, but honestly, like, the amount of problems that I've had is unreal. Okay, so now we come to the overall thoughts on the plan. So my overall thoughts, I think in general, for me, I wouldn't have lost weight if I hadn't have done this plan, and that is something I have to remember. However, having done it, recommending it to other people, I would say it's a very basic plan, it's simple and it's effective, however, if you if you don't understand weight loss i would say it's for beginners 100 percent, which i was a beginner at weight loss because i didn't understand it however if you understand it like i do now and you understand how to lose weight and that it's mainly about nutrition then you do not need that plan and it is quite a lot of money and yeah you don't need it so it's one of those things if you really need to be spoon fed then that is what this plan is about. In my personal opinion, I know she's coming out with a newer plan, a different plan, so maybe I can give my opinions on what that's all about and how it might differ from what she's done before, but I don't know what that's about yet, so we'll have to see when that comes out. I just wanted to make this video. The good thing about the plan though overall is that it has taught me to focus on diet, which I never really did before. I always focused on exercise, so I'm so glad now that I will have this understanding of like, diet and nutrition for the rest of my life overall the hit workouts are excellent i do think they are really really good but are they worth the money no if the plan was cheaper would i recommend the plan 100 percent if you didn't get your money taken out of your account so many times and take ages to get it back Ugh, so annoying um but yeah you don't need this plan to lose weight you can lose weight on your own and i will talk about that in a minute finally what can you do if you don't want to buy the plan so if you don't want to buy the plan work out your TDEE on an online calculator. It will take into account your height, your weight, your age, your exercise level. Then, with that value, my value was 2,100, subtract 500. So I subtracted 500, which takes me to 1,600? 1, yeah, 1,600. I should, I'm doing accountancy at, at uni, I should know this. Um, 1,600, so that's what I should eat per day to lose a pound of fat a week or one to one to two pounds of fat a week depends if i increase my exercise or not that's what i should lose so if i ate less than that my weight loss should theoretically be quicker and at a period of time i was eating 1600 and i was losing about a pound a week however i've now so but then hello i'm back again my camera died again and it's probably gonna die again but we're near to the end of this video. But basically, where was I? I think I was saying that I was maintaining for a period of time. So my um, kind of calories and everything was just maintaining. I was having drinks with friends, etc. And now I'm kind of ready to get back on the bandwagon and just lose a few more pounds. It's not something that you need to stay in a deficit for a very long time. You can go back into maintenance for a while, then go back into being in a deficit, etc. And then when I'm happy with where I am, I will go back to maintaining again. So yeah, so that's my kind of calories for losing weight. And that's what I kind of eat is 1,600, but it's different for everybody. And I am just eating a little bit less than that. And I am eating 1,400 now, just because weight loss is a little bit quicker and I'm fine with that. And my exercise levels have dropped a little bit. So 
there we go also never eat back your exercise calories if you're working out don't eat back what you've worked out unless you've obviously done really intense exercise but often like small little workouts can be mistracked when it comes to fitbits and stuff like that so and also your tde does take into account your activity level anyway um also increase your neat neat which is basically the calories you burn from doing daily activities like washing up, hoovering, just things that you do in the day, walking to the shops, etc. Just to kind of increase your energy level doing them or just do more stuff and don't sit around all day basically because that it plays a massive part of weight loss is just making sure that you're keeping yourself busy and you're doing stuff and you're not just sitting around and you've got more energy in yourself and you're doing things with more energy rather than just going like this, you're gonna go like this sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like just more energy and therefore burning more calories without even really knowing about it. Um, do some HIIT workouts. I will link down below two seven minute workouts in the description by Lucy Wyndham Reed. She is amazing. She literally is really the queen of HIIT workouts. She's got over a million subscribers and yeah, she's amazing. So I'll link them down below. I do them. That's what I do right now every single day. Now I finish the plan. I do one each day. I would say they're on par with the ones on the, the um, Alexandra's plan. So I would recommend them. So yeah, do HIIT workouts. I also, on the side of that, do some toning workouts. I just do some toning exercises based off of my own head. So Monday would be arms. I've got my weights. Tuesday would be a, a bum workout, Wednesday abs, Thursday just overall leg workout, etc. But I just do exercises from my knowledge in my head, but obviously just look online if you sort of don't know what to do. And if you stick to that every single day, stick to your calorie deficit, stick to your irregular exercise schedule with, you know, a couple of rest, day, rest days here or there. You don't need a rest day particularly often if your activity level isn't that high. Just increase what you're doing during the day in your daily activities and make sure you're doing a lot of steps. Also drink two liters of water, it really helps. Drinking water helps to keep you full. Eating high protein, high fiber meals also helps to keep you full. So try not to snack too much and try to make sure that your meals are really filling and nutritious and healthy. That will really help. So yeah, if you wanna know like what exactly to do written down right in front of you of my tips and advice and just message me on instagram and i will copy and paste what i send to everybody when they ask me my tips on how to lose weight so that is everything for this video i think that is everything this is my like roundup of the happy body plan and my opinions i do have quite strong opinions when it comes to things in life so hopefully i didn't offend anybody i didn't mean to i am so glad that i did this plan because it has helped me so much throughout losing weight this year i would never have done it if i hadn't have had the knowledge about calories and food and nutrition rather than just focusing on exercise so i am very glad that i've done it but looking back did i need to do it if i had somebody like me having done it giving me advice no so you know you don't need to do it but you can if you want to and also she is bringing out a new fitness plan that maybe you want to stick around to kind of see what that is first before you do anything with one of her current plans just see what she's bringing out but yeah that is the end of this video hopefully you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on my channel more fitness videos more lifestyle videos and i will see you very soon goodbye